So today we are solving algebra equations and they all involve combining like terms. And what that means is when you have on the same side of the equal sign two or more terms with the exact same variable ending, we can combine them together. Okay, for, for example, on this first one, we've got 4x plus 12x equals negative 128. Notice, on the same side of the equal sign, we have two groups of x's. So we are going to combine them together. And that's what we mean by combining like terms. They have the same variable ending, so they are, are like terms. 4x's plus 12x's gives us 16x's. And then I can drop everything else down. All right, so all we did was took our two different groups of x's and made it one big group because they are on the same side of the equal sign. But after that, now we just solve this equation like normal. We've got x times 16, so I'm going to divide by 16. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And the 16's undo each other. The x drops down, the equals drops down, and negative 128 divided by 16 is negative 8. And there's your answer. Okay, so we'll do one more example, but this time when we combine our like terms on this one, we've got 5, 6x minus 1 ninth x equals 702. Notice our like terms this time, though, are fractions. But that doesn't change anything. Because we have two groups of x's on the same side of the equal sign, we're going to combine them together. So what we're going to have to do, though, before we can do 5, 6 minus 1 ninth, we need a common denominator. Notice, 18 is my common denominator because 6 and 9 both go into 18. So this would be 15 eighteenths, and this would be 2 eighteenths. So 15 eighteenths x minus 2 eighteenths x gives me 13 eighteenths x. So again, all I'm going to do here is combine my groups of x's, just like I did over here. It's just a little bit harder with the fractions. Okay, I'll drop down my equals and drop down my 702. Now it's just a matter of solving the equation. We've got 13 eighteenths times x. The way you undo a fraction is you multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So instead of 13 eighteenths, we're going to multiply both sides by 18 thirteenths. And when you do that, Multiplying 13 eighteenths by 18 thirteenths makes all of this just 1x. And then on the other side, 702 times all that, well, we need a calculator. So let's do that. 702 times 18, then divided by 13, gives us 972. And that is our answer. All right. So, when we're solving equations, make sure you look on each side of the equal sign to see if you have multiple groups of x's. If you do, you can combine them, and that's what we mean by combining like terms. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe. It really helps us out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and good luck with that math.